wonder where those guys have just been. I don't know. Their day's not planned. Outside a high, flying who knows where, doing who knows what. You can't just decide one day to be a pollen jock. You have to be bred for that. Right. Look at that. That's more pollen than you and I will ever see in a lifetime. It's just a status symbol. I think bees make too big a deal out of it. Perhaps. Unless you're wearing it, and the ladies see you wearing it. <laughs> Those ladies? Oh, aren't they our cousins, too? Distant, distant. Look at these two. Couple of hive harries. Let's have some fun with them. It must be so dangerous being a pollen jock. Oh, yeah. One time a bear had me pinned up against a mushroom. He had one paw on my throat, and with the other, he was slapping me back and forth across the face. Oh, my! I never thought I'd knock him out. And what were you doing during all of this? Obviously, I was trying to alert the authorities. I can autograph that if you want. Little gusty out there today, wasn't it, comrades? <laughs> yeah, gusty. <laughs> now, we're gonna hit a sunflower patch about six miles from here tomorrow. Six miles, huh? Barry? It's a puddle jump for us, but, uh... Maybe you're not up for it. Maybe I am. You are not. We're going 0900 at J-Gate. Whoa. What do you think, Buzzy Boy? Are you B enough? I might be. It all depends on what 0900 means. <laughs>